Hey everyone, um, today I'm going to show you how to do an ammunition system. So you would need to do this if, um, let me show what it looks like here. Uh, to have your character shoot projectiles, and then there's a status of what the things are. So if you notice at the top here, I have a, uh, an ammo bar. It will re recharge over time. And when I shoot projectiles, you know, they have to disappear, but um, if I shoot too much, you know, once I get to zero here, it doesn't let me shoot anymore, right? So then I have to wait for it to recharge and keep playing the uh, keep playing the game. Okay, so let me show you how I did this here. I'm gonna go over the the code real quick, kind of um, show you part by part, uh, and then towards the end I'll show you how I built it. Uh, again, you can take screenshots of what you need to do, but again, if you take screenshots and you miss a step or you miss you know a little variable, you're gonna mess up your whole code. So it's probably best you watch the whole video and wait for all the nuances. Um, so first to set this up, we're gonna need these three things. We need this, this function status bar. Of course, make functions to separate it. When I built it, I put it in here, um, but then that got too confusing for me because there's just a bunch of stuff here. So I put it in a function, but we'll need this function here. We'll need a game update. We will also need um, on our A button press or B button press, whatever you're using for your, uh, your launcher here, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get the extension for the status bar, okay? So what you're going to do is if you click on advanced here, scroll down and click on extensions, you're gonna find the status bar, um, the status bar right here, okay? So click on that, it will open up. I already uploaded mine. It will take a moment for it to load, uh, but it's this here. And you can see there's different um, things we can do with status bars. We'll go into deeper with, with some of these, but um, we'll uh, we'll try it this way. Okay, so status bar. So first thing I'm gonna do, the status bar is just a visual thing, right? If we don't set up variables like ammo or whatever it is, it won't um, get rid of this variable. Uh, it won't work correctly. So if we just just do the black without doing the red uh, variables, it won't work correctly. Because the thing of it is just a visual part of it, but you still have um, ammo in the background, okay? So what we're gonna do is, you're first gonna do set status bar to this, right? This is just, just controls the height and the width, right? Um, I can make it uh, longer if I'd like. Let's try what 50 looks like. load here, go maybe a little bit longer so you can see a little better. You can change different energy, different kinds, right? So green is health, energy is yellow, magic is whatever colors. So you can always change it to different colors. These are just your different color schemes, honestly. Um, later, you can just make your own status bars and start creating your own ones. Um, but just as a quick builder, you can just use these. All right, then what we're going to do is we're going to set status bar value at 100, okay? So what that means is, uh, it's gonna fill it up all the way for us. If we do status bar like 20, uh, it will be like 20% of this of this here. So you have about 20%, right? Then it starts recharging because that's what I have in mind. Um, so you always wanna do 100. By default, it's at 100, but since we're gonna be using um, ammunition, we need to change, we need to have set of value. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna do set status bar position at wherever location. This just chooses which location you'd like to do, okay? So you can do top, left, bottom, right? Bottom might work for my game because it might be easier to see at the bottom there. Um, maybe not, we'll see if I do if I do full screen. Yeah, it's maybe not the best there, right at the bottom. Um, so we just find a location for it. I'm gonna do the top, go back to the top here. And then this set status bar label, you set your, um, what you wanna label it. All right, so we have, we're setting where it is, how the height it is. Um, we're setting its value, we're setting its position, we're setting its label. And then we also have to do the set ammo, right? So this is the variable in the background that we need to have. This is gonna be important here, set ammo. You're gonna make a new variable, uh, make a variable and call it ammo. And that's gonna be important. Make a variable, call it ammo and place it right there, right? The next thing we're going to do is after you create it, just make sure you test it and you see it's there. And what I did for my game update is I have it like automatically recharging. Um, you may not want to do that. You might want to do it where if he runs out of bullets, he's got to act like he's going to reload. 
So what we're going to do is, uh, do we want to do that? So what my game is, when I shoot and I wait a few seconds, it starts recharging. So what this is, is on game update, change ammo by 10, which means every two seconds, add 10 to the ammo, and then change the status bar value by, by 10. Okay. Um, so we start, start shooting. Um, at the same time, you have to think about why I did that. So on A button pressed, this is my sprite animation, right? So I have him um, moving his arm back and forth like he's throwing a rock or whatever. Yours can be a lot cooler than mine if you like. Also, when he pushes A, the A button, I need to change his ammo by 10, right? I need to use 10. It's like he's shooting 10 bullets. It's just the value. Since this is kind of a base 100 system, I just kept it in 10s. Um, and you can really make it any number you like, but since it's a base 100 system, right, like the value bar is 100, um, I'm just keeping it in 10, right? I can change it to 5, I can change it to 2, right? So this gives me 10 shots with it. If I change it to 50, it's 2 shots. If I change it to 1, it's 100 shots. So it depends on what you want to do. So I just picked 10 because I want 10 shots per, like, ammo thing. And it's also going to change the status bar by 10. So I want these to be equivalent. I want it to represent exactly how many bullets or things or rocks they're shooting. Okay. So that's what that does there. Then I have this part, this logic. So you're going to go to logic, grab one of these statements, and then logic, grab one of these comparisons. And put that inside here. Okay. You're going to put it right here. So what that is, if the ammo, right? So get your variable. If the ammo, put it there is greater than zero, then you're going to shoot the projectile, right? If it's not, it's not going to do anything. It will still do the animation, but it won't do anything, right? So it's like, else, do nothing. Don't shoot any anything. Don't shoot the projectile. So only if this is true, it's going to shoot the projectile. So right now, if I put that here, and I just press A, I just have unlimited ammo. Let's load here. OK, so I just have limited ammo. See the bar still going down. But I keep jamming on it, even when my bar is zero, I still have unlimited ammo, right? So I'm still changing my ammo by 10, but I just have a limited ammo. If I put this back here and put this in here, it will only shoot if the number is greater than zero, right? So only if I have bullets in it, will it work? So I try it, there it goes. Once I get to zero, I can't shoot anything more. So I have to wait for it to recharge, okay? So I'm doing kind of a recharge system, but let's say you wanted to do it where you run out, you will have to recharge it then. Okay, so we're gonna do this. So I'm gonna push stop here for now. Let's get rid of this auto recharge system. I'm gonna get rid of this for now. We're gonna try this one. On status bar, zero status. Okay, we're gonna click it here. On energy, because I'm using the energy one here. You can use whatever you want. But on the energy bar status, and what has zero status, I want to um, change, set the variable back to 100, set the ammo back to 100, back to 100, OK? Then I want him to um, set the status bar value again to 100. Okay, at zero status. Okay, I think that's gonna happen instantly. So I'll shoot all my guns, and when I get to zero, it recharges, see that? But that's too fast for a reload, and that kind of just negates the point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a delay. So set status bar to, so I'll do a um, pause command or a wait. I think it's called pause. Here it is, pause. So let's say he has to wait, um, Let's wait two seconds. Wait two seconds and then reload it. Okay. Gets 50 seconds. I have to wait two seconds, reloads. There it goes. Cool. So then I can add one more thing. I can have my character say something, um, say like he's reloading. Reloading. So when he gets to zero, he's going to say reloading, and then he's going to reload it after two seconds. So I shoot my bullets, my rocks, reloading, and then he shoots again. Okay. All right. So that's a quick tutorial on how to do ammunition.